doing. Um, barely two weeks ago, we had a parade of suspects that was handled by the Commissioner of Police, Lagos State Command CP, the World War One, and we are proud to say, between then and now, we have um, not relented in waging war against crime and criminality within Lagos State. So today, we are also going to present to you some of our achievements. Uh, we have quite a number of them here, which I'm going to forward to every one of us, soft copy. Uh, but for now, I'll be speaking on just seven of these cases. Uh, we carefully selected these cases to make people know what we have been doing and to also make people know some antics that are out there being used by criminals. So we have a total of 13, 13 suspects here today who have been involved in various criminal activities including armed robbery, unlawful possession of controlled substances, impersonation, defilement, armed robbery. And we also have an array of um, arms, weapons, ammunition and other exhibits recovered which are on display there. First I would like to talk about the case of impersonation. Um, there is somebody arrested is here, Nwagu Emmanuel, who parades himself as a commissioner of police. And to make his claim authentic, he also has a fake ID card of the commissioner of police. Everything is on display there, as you see. And um, he actually came into the police headquarters and um, was about to facilitate or request the release of a hardened criminal in our custody. Of course, he introduced himself as Commissioner of Police, and that was as far as he could convince us, Commissioner of Police. Further questioning, where are you serving, and some other things. He gave himself away, and he has been arrested. Investigation reveals that he has been doing this for quite some time, so only God knows how many civilians he has been able to convince that he's a police officer and get away with some unscrupulous things. But we're happy that he has been arrested today, and is here, and immediately after this parade is going to be arranged for impersonation. We also have another interesting case of impersonation. This was reported to us by the Nigerian Bar Association, EPE branch, and they reached out to us to let us know about a, a, about somebody that has been calling himself a lawyer for years now. He would always appear in court, he would always wear the robe and have law books, and not suspecting um, Nigerians would always approach him for or whatever legal advice or services they need. But we have been able to arrest him today. His name is Ibrahim Bello. He was actually arrested in court with his robe, looking like a real lawyer. He's here. Uh, we would even discretionally allow you to speak to him uh, so that he can explain to us what pushed him into this and for how long he has been doing this. We have also been able to arrest a woman, a lady, Ganiat Oni, 40 years old, in the Ibugwe area of Ikorodu, um, she sells drugs, hard drugs. Um, she was arrested with quite an array of these drugs, 97 wraps of Colos, 22 wraps of Loud, some mixture of Loud and Arizona, and some other hard drugs. And found in her possession was 271,600 Naira, which was the sales she had made for that day before she was arrested. Uh, she has been arrested, the drugs have been recovered, and she's also going to be prosecuted. Sometime last week, um, some members of the community in some area of Lagos State reached out to their DPO to complain about the presence of some boys or some young men in an uncompleted building. And they had reasons to believe that they were not there for anything good. So they called the DPO to just run a check. And um, the DPO led his men, went to that place. Upon sighting police officers, these young men took to their heels. And um, the building was searched. And in the building was found a carton, a biscuit carton. And the carton was also opened and we found a semi-automatic pistol, Smith and Wesson, that has the capacity for 14 ammunition but it was found with 11 live ammunition, 9mm ammunition. That's a deadly weapon that was found in that um, building. 
Our investigation has commenced. We have reasons to believe it's connected to cultism and it was dropped by some cultists in the area. But like I said, investigations have commenced. But we're happy that in the same area, they have one less weapon circulating in the society. Also, we have a case of um, stealing. Someone parked his car somewhere in Odonokoeja area of Ekwe, his Volvo car. He parked the car and before he came back, some people had stolen the car. So he reached out to the police and the police mobilized his men and went in pursuit of that car. Um, I think those people got wind of the fact that police was on their trail and somewhere along Lagos Ibado Expressway, they quickly abandoned the car and fled, but not before we were able to arrest one of them, Bamishe Omotayo. And he's also there, Bamishe Omotayo, we were able to arrest him. We were also able to recover the Volvo car, though we can bring it here today. We could not bring it here today because it's, it's having some mechanical issues. The manner in which they dished the car, um, we could not bring it here today. But we're happy that we responded swiftly to a Nigerian distress call. We went in hot pursuit and were able to get the car. Somewhere in Ojokoro area, we also received a distress call that some young men, four in number, were, this was around uh, 10 p.m., some young men were moving from street to street with their locally made weapons, robbing passersby, just snatching phones, collecting money and all that. So the DPO and his men moved to that scene. And by the time they got there, they met these men, these young men, in a pharmacy. They had moved from the streets to the pharmacy. They were now robbing the attendants at the pharmacy. But we got there and were able to arrest two of them while two escaped. One escaped on their motorcycle. They came with a motorcycle. They were able to arrest two. Um, Kazim Jimo, age 34, and Said Chelili, also age 34. Um, recovered from them were two locally made pistols with two live cartridges, one expended cartridge, two wristwatches, five mobile phones, and 482,000 naira. In Iba, four young men, just like the case I explained, would rob passersby. They also have a gun. We commend those Lagosians who have faith in us and reach out to us in times of distress. And we know some people would say, what would police do? But the taste of the pudding is in the eating. Uh, so for those who have that confidence to call us, we are happy that most times, if not every time, most times we deliver. So in Ibas too, somebody's iPhone 6 um, was stolen. We reached out to the police and we responded. And we were able to arrest these four young men. And they are here. And the iPhone, even though they had sold it by the time we arrested them, we were still able to continue with our investigation and we were able to recover the phone, recover the weapon, and um, they are also going to be prosecuted. So we are happy that, as we speak today, we have at least 13 criminals and hardened criminals off the street. So that's it for the past two weeks, just a carefully selected uh, number of cases, not all the cases. We have much more than this. And um, the Commissioner of Police in Lagos State, City um, assures Lagosians that with their continued support, we will continue to record um, successes in our joint fight against crime and criminality within the state.